solution left hand side let me take this left hand side is a minus b upon a plus b hence my sign formula becomes substitute okay so this is equal to k sin a minus k sin b divided by k sin a plus k sin b by sin formula this is by sin formula okay this i have already described in the beginning k k cancel out k if i take common from the numerator and in the denominator then k k cancel out let me write k common sin a minus sin b divided by k common sin a plus sin b k cancel out what is sin a minus sin b sin a minus sin b is two cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2 this is the formula of sin a minus sin b and sin a plus sin b is first to sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 to be considered cos a plus b by 2 and cos a sin a minus b by 2 sorry a plus b by 2 this is let me write cos a plus b by 2 upon sin a plus b by 2 okay into this is sin a minus b by 2 divided by cos a minus b upon 2 this is nothing but this is cot a plus b by 2 cos upon sin is cot into this is 10 a minus b upon 2 the cot can be taken as 1 upon 10 ok so that will be 1 upon 10 let me write here this is in the numerator we have 10 a minus b upon 2 divided by 1 upon into 1 upon and a plus b by 2 what means 1 upon 10 this cot a plus b by 2 is 1 upon 10 this finally gives us 10 a minus b by 2 divided by 10 a plus b by 2 hence this is the right hand side okay this is equal to right hand side same right hand side is obtained hence proved okay so hence proved we have just proved that this is by the sign formula we are solving it now this is question number 13 okay now let me take next question this is question number 6 okay question number 6 says let me check it what does question number 6 say okay sixth question is in any triangle abc okay show that this is going to just let me take in any triangle abc show that you have to prove that a into cos b minus c upon 2 is equal to is equal to b plus c into sin a by 2 ok this we have to prove now if I take only the, the sides of the triangle that means a b c in one side or we can write here b plus c upon a b plus c upon a is equal to cos b minus c upon sorry this is the angle here upon 2 whole divided by sin a by 2 then we can cross multiply ok so let, let me take the left hand side here or this we have to prove solution 
left hand side here left hand side is z plus c upon a so what is the sign formula let me put k into sin b plus k into sin c divided by k sin a okay this is the by sin formula by sin or from sin formula or by sin formula we can write these values okay now k cancelled out k in the numerator and denominator we are left with sin b plus sin c divided by sin a only okay so what is sin b plus sin c we know that sin a plus sin b equal to sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 is the formula apply this this is 2 into sin b plus c by 2 okay into cos b minus c by 2 divided by now sin can be written as 2 sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 why but we know that since sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta into cos theta now if it is sin theta only then it will be 2 sin theta right into cos theta right that, that's why we have put here in place of sin a as 2 sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 okay so that is the point we have 2 to cancel out now what is sin b plus c by 2 now since a plus b plus c is equal to pi or 180 degree therefore a plus b plus c by 2 is equal to 90 degree or from this this is b plus c therefore b plus c by 2 is equal to 90 degree minus a by 2 type one so in place of b plus c by 2 we can write here sine pi by 2 to 90 minus a by 2 into cos b minus c upon 2 whole divided by sine a by 2 into cos a by 2 into cos a by 2 over this sine 90 minus theta sine 90, 90 minus theta is cos theta cos 90 minus theta is sine theta and that Okay, told you number of times that whenever 90 degree minus theta 90 degree plus theta sine cos cos sine 10 cot cot 10 sec cos sec cos sec sec this is the process if it is pi then direct sine sine cos cos 10 10 cot cot like that and if it negative positive that we have to think about with the help of what is in this quadrant that angle is lying okay so that is in the point we discussed about now, now this is pi means pi by 2 minus a by 2 sine pi by 2 minus a by 2 is let me write here so finally we obtain sorry sine 90 minus theta is cos theta this is cos a by 2 into cos b minus c upon 2 upon sine a by 2 into cos a by 2 the sine a by 2 cos a by 2 1 cos a by 2 cancel out so this is nothing but cos p minus c by 2 divided by sin a by 2 this is the same value here it's right in side ok so either in this way we can prove this which is right in side here and screw or if I just cross multiply this if I cross multiply then naturally b plus c into sin a by 2 b plus c into sin a by 2 equal to a into cos b minus c by 2 a into cos b minus c by 2 that will be there. so in, in in other way either this is answer or this is the answer same that we after cross multiplication we have taken this form to this form okay so both are put here okay any in any form we can take it now let us take question number seven okay now what is question number seven say let me check it Okay, question number seven. 
question number seven says that prove that prove it that a plus b upon two upon c sorry is equal to cos a minus b by two divided by sin c by two. Okay, this is just like the previous one to prove this. I will definitely have to prove that this equal to this. Again, let us take now. This is clearly given. Okay, so this is seventh question we have taken. Seventh and sixth looking similar. Okay, now let us take left hand side as solution. Let me change this marker. Okay, so the left hand side is a plus b upon c. Putting the values, this is k into sine a plus k into sine b divided by k into sine c. This is y sine formula. Y sine formula is we know of. Okay, so this gives us k k cancel out. It will be now sin a plus sin b divided by sin c. Okay, now sin a plus b, sin a sorry sin a plus sin b is what? That will give us two into sin a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two divided by sin c is two sin c by two. Into cos c by two. This is sine two c of one. And in the numerator we have two sine a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. Since that means that is sine a plus sine b equal to two sine a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. This is one formula. In sine two theta is equal to sin theta into cos theta. If it is single angle sin theta, then it will be two sin theta by two cos theta by two like this. Okay, so these are the formula we have taken. Okay, so two to cancel out. Now again, this is sin a plus b by two. This is sin a plus b by two into cos a minus b by two. Whole divided by sine c by two into cos c by two, but a plus b plus c three angles sum divided by two equal to one eighty upon two. That means ninety degree. This we know what. Therefore, a plus b by two is equal to ninety minus c by two. In place of this, we can write here sine 90 minus c by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 divided by sine c by 2 into cos c by 2. Okay, now this sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. So finally, it will be sine 90 minus theta is cos theta. That is cos c by 2. In case of theta, we have c by two. This is cos c by two into cos a minus b upon two divided by sine c by two into cos c by two. Cos c by two cancel out. This is cos a minus b upon two divided by sine c upon two. This is the right hand side. This is the right hand side here. If it's the same right hand side. Is obtained. Hence the solution. Okay, so this is your answer here. Question number eight we have completed. Okay, now let us take next question. But before that, let me give you this. Now question number eight we have completed. Let us take the next question. Okay. 
Question number eight we completed. Now question number ninth. This one is there. Sorry. Seventh we have done. Or we did a minus b. Now this is a minus b. Eighth question we have completed now. Seventh we have completed. Now question number eight. Sorry. Now question number eight here. It was seventh. Question seventh we completed. A plus b upon c equal to that. Okay, if we note it down that as 8 1, then I'm sorry. Now this is a minus b here. Then the question. Question number 8 is to prove here what we have to prove that a minus b upon c is equal to sine a minus b upon 2 divided by cos c by 2. This we have to prove we approve uh, this, I mean, up to seventh one. The denominator we were having sine c by 2, we are sine uh, uh, in the sixth one. Okay, we were having sine a by 2. Okay, sine a by 2, we had a sine c by 2. Sixth one we also did, so seventh and sixth we are completed now. Eighth question we are completing here. So, previous one was seventh question, I'm sorry. Seventh value we noted down there. Okay, so now question number 8. So to prove this, a minus b upon c is going to this. Let us take left hand side here. Solution. So, left hand side. Again, this is a minus b upon c. Putting the value, this is k sine a minus k sine b. This is minus sine b. Try to understand. And this is k sine c. This is small c here. Okay, so k sin c k cancelled out. This is now sin a minus sin b all divided by sin c. But sin a minus sin b, sin a minus sin b. If it is a minus sin in between, then first comes out as cos, which will be two cos a plus b by two into sin a minus b by 2 divided by sin c now this is 2 sin c by 2 into cos c by 2 so, okay in the 8th one we have c here okay so sin c all right no problem this is the value 2 to cancel out we are left with cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b upon 2 divided by sin c by 2 into cos c by 2 but again a plus b plus c equal to or upon 2 equal to 90 degree therefore a plus b upon 2 equal to 90 minus c by 2 so in place of a plus b by 2, we can put here 90 minus c by 2. This is cos 90 degree minus c by 2 into sine a minus b by 2. a minus b by 2 divided by sine c by 2 into cos c by 2. Okay, so it will give us equals to cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta. This is the formula. Since cos 90 minus theta is equal to sin theta, in the numerator we are having sin c by 2 into sin a minus b a minus b by 2 as it is whole divided by sin c by 2 into cos c by 2 now sin c by 2 sin c by 2 cancel out what we are left with so we are left with this is now sin a minus b by 2 whole divided by cos c by 2 this is the right hand side this is your right hand side hence proof okay. Hence it is proved. This is question number 
it now. The seventh question, I noted down something else, and I think I noted down as eighth question, seventh one. But now eighth question we have completed. Sorry. Okay, that was the seventh question. Because value of the seventh question we solved, but maybe I noted down there as question number eight, but that was seventh one. The seventh question we have completed because this numerical value, the value of this question we noted down there. But I noted down there as eighth question, I'm sorry, that was the seventh one. Now this is eighth one we have completed. Let us see ninth question. What is the ninth question, sir? It says the sign to prove that sign b minus c by 2 is equal to b minus c upon a into cos c by 2. Show it. To show it here. To show. To show it. So this is a question here. Same kind of question here. Let us see. This is B minus C. Let me take now right hand side. No problem. Take me right hand side. Solution. Let us take the right hand side, which is B minus C upon A into cos A by two. No problem. So we can substitute here in place of B and C. K sine B minus K sine C whole divided by k sin a into cos a by 2 as it is. No problem. Okay, so k k, if I take common, will be cancelled out in the numerator and denominator. So left over then is sin b minus sin c whole divided by sin a into cos a by 2. No problem. Okay. Let us take now what is sin b minus sin c? It is nothing but cos b plus c by 2 into sin b minus c by 2 whole divided by now this sin a is to sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 multiplied is cos a by 2 so just cos a by 2 and cos a by 2 cancel out 2 2 cancel out <coughs> Sorry, two to cancel out now, but again a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degree, or a plus b plus c by 2 is equal to 90 degree. Okay, semi of this, therefore b plus c by 2, therefore b plus c by 2 equal to 90 minus a by 2. We can substitute this in place of b plus c by 2. This is cos 90 minus 90 degree minus a by 2 into sine b minus c by 2 whole divided by now left for value sine b by 2 because cos a by 2 cos a by 2 cancel out. Now what is now cos 90 minus theta? Cos 90 minus theta is sine theta. So it will be sine a by 2 because cos 90 minus a by 2 is sine a by 2 into sine b minus c upon 2 divided by sine a by 2 sine a by 2 are sine a by 2 cancel out left over the loop is sine b minus c upon 2 this is your left hand side okay this is your left hand side here sine b minus c by 2 sine b minus c by 2 this is sine of b minus c by 2 hence this is the left hand side proved so this we have to prove it is finally proved question number 9 to complete let me now talk about question number 10 okay question number 10 says Let us talk about question number 10 now. Okay, now question number 10 says 
for the value. Yeah. Let me just talk about it. Let us take question number 10. Now, 10th question is question number 10 is this. It says is A into sine B minus C plus B into sine C minus A plus C into sine A minus B is equal to 0. We have to prove this. Question number 10. Now, to prove, to prove here. We have, to prove, we have to prove here that A into sine B minus C plus B into sine C minus A. Okay. B into sine C minus A plus C into sine A minus B is equal to G. This we have to prove here. A into sine B minus C. B into sine C minus A. Okay. Let's now prove this. That's the point. Okay. Now if I open sine B minus C and this and that, we can and then multiply by A into sine this. Okay. Let me first substitute the values. So this is left hand side here. The solution. Left hand side, which is you have to prove that A into sine B minus C plus B into sine whatever the process is there you have to just prove that sine A minus B okay that inside now put the value of A, B and C A is here K sine A K sine A okay that means this is K sine A into sine b minus c let us talk about plus this is b means k sine b into sine c minus a plus c c means k sine c into sine a minus b okay so k can be taken common let me take k common now sine A, A means pi minus B plus C. Here we can write it as sine pi minus B plus C. In place of A, we can substitute since A plus B plus C is equal to pi. Therefore, A is equal to pi minus B plus C. In this way, we can find the value of a respective this is p here what is sine b in place of b we can write pi minus c plus a this is c here c means pi minus a plus b in that way we have to write into sine b minus c plus sine b sine b is sine pi minus a plus c okay into sine or this is C plus A that we here. This is C plus A into sine C minus A. Okay. Sine C minus A plus sine the last value. Sine C. Sine C can be written as pi minus A plus B. Okay. Into sine a minus b now what is pi minus theta sine pi minus theta now because pi minus theta is lying in the second quadrant the second quadrant sine is positive and sine pi minus theta is equal to sine theta cos pi minus theta is minus cos theta but in this case sine is there so it is positive we can write it as k into sine this is sine b plus c only into sine b minus c plus sine c plus a into sine c minus a okay plus this is sine a plus b into sine a minus b as it is 
what are the values of this sin b plus c to sin b minus c? This is nothing but, let me write here, which will be finally sin of square b minus sin of square c these two values sin square b minus sin square c okay this will be sin square c this is c plus a minus sin square a sin c plus a into sin c minus a is equal to sin square c minus sin square a plus now sin a plus b into sin a minus b sin square a minus sin square b we see here sin square b plus and minus sin square b cancelled out minus sin square c plus sin square c minus sin square a plus sin square a is 0 k into 0 is equal to 0 hence right hand side root is equal to right hand side hence root ok so this is the process how we have to solve this this is the process we have solved. Finally, we have got the answer. Okay. Same question is obtained here. Same answer is obtained here. Question number 10. Continue. Okay, now let me talk about question number 11. Okay, now question 11 is what? Let me check it. Okay, now question 11th is what 11th question is. Okay, let me take it. This is question number eleven. It says to prove that A into sine B okay minus sine C plus B into to prove this sine C minus sine A plus C into C into sin A minus sin B, C into sin A minus sin B. Okay, we have to prove that is all we can see. This is question number 11. A into sin B minus sin C, yeah, plus B into sin C minus sin A, okay, plus C into sin A minus sin B equal to 0. To prove this, this we have to prove here. Okay, 